Stephen Covey was one of the most influential teachers, speakers and businessmen in the past century, with his best selling book The 7 Habits of Highly Successful People, being hugely influential even today, as he covers timeless points in the book to help people achieve the most in life by learning from those who achieved incredible success. Today's video is going to summarise the 7 points, what they mean and how to apply them. So with that said, let's look at the 7 habits of highly effective people. Number 1. Be proactive It might seem obvious yet something the majority of people don't do in their lives, which is if you want to do something that's important to you, you need to be proactive, not reactive. This means that rather than focusing on events that go on around you, blaming the ills of the world on what you can't control, you instead focus on what you can. For example, if you run a business and there's a change in legislation meaning practices you were doing cannot be done in the same way, you can either choose to focus on the change in legislation which won't resolve the problem, or you can choose to change your business practice to ensure you meet the new legislation. Number 2. Begin with the end in mind A key element of success in life is knowing where you want to end up, knowing your purpose or why and acting in accordance with that with what you do day to day. Therefore, focus on the end goal and take action that will help you achieve it, whether it be your health, fitness, what you earn and relationships you have. By doing this, you don't get easily distracted, jumping from one task to another and doing what isn't in alignment with where you intend to go. Number 3. Put first things first We talk about this regularly on the channel, but prioritising your tasks each day is critical to making the most productive use of time and ensuring you do what helps you achieve results towards your end goal. This means to focus on tasks where they are in alignment with what you want in life, and giving less importance to those tasks which are less beneficial or of value. For example, if you want to have great financial success in life, but then choose to spend 3 hours each evening watching Netflix or playing games, then what you do isn't in alignment with your goals. Number 4. Think Win Win When we negotiate, we often see it as a competitive game in which the person to get the best deal is the winner, which is looking at it from the wrong perspective. Instead, try to negotiate in a way which works for all parties fairly, which isn't necessarily the same as equally, but in a sense achieve what's best for all in the negotiation, as doing this builds relationships for the future. For example, let's say you're negotiating in business and you get a fair deal for all, this will help to cement a stronger relationship between the parties that can do business together again in the future, rather than competing which leaves one party disappointed and less likely to engage in further negotiations. Number 5. Seek first to understand, then to be understood Understanding the needs of others in a specific situation is critical to achieving success and making sure you respond appropriately in a given circumstance. It's often easy to want to offer solutions, especially when you tackle issues with a problem solving mindset, but having empathy to understand the needs in that moment are critical. For example, let's say a friend is upset due to missing out on a job. It might seem appropriate to offer advice on how to get another job or techniques to develop skills, but in the initial conversation, it's more likely your friend just needs to vent, so you need to understand that in that moment in time, they just need an ear. Number 6. Synergize This is more important today than it's ever been as we live in a digital world where people see the need to synergize or collaborate more than ever before. The principle is simple, that when working together, the contributions of many people will exceed the contributions of a single individual. Simply put, have a collaborative, not a competitive mindset. A great example is social media, where people develop a following by looking to build relationships with others and seeking to work together to grow, rather than trying to do it all by themselves. Number 7. Sharpen the saw a balanced lifestyle where you care for yourself is likely to be far more productive and yield greater results than a life where you try and work 24 7. 
Imagine trying to cut down a tree with a blunt saw. It will take a huge amount of time and effort to do so. But spend a little time to sharpen the saw, then the time saved cutting down the tree will be significant. It might seem counterproductive to give yourself a little time to relax, recuperate and rest, but in reality, it's fundamental to ensuring you achieve the results you desire for the long term. How many of these habits do you apply in your day to day life? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.